Welcome to the Underground Temple. My name is Hayashi. This is my fourth talk in a series of brief fireside chats about the martial arts. In this talk, I will discuss the ego as an obstacle to martial training. The ego is a term psychologists use to describe that part of our mind or psyche that identifies who we are to ourselves as separate from the rest of the world. When we make this self-identification, it's all too easy to make assumptions that may not be fully grounded in reality. For example, we may say to ourselves that we're better than others, faster, smarter, tougher. Or we may say to ourselves that we are inferior to others and then struggle with our self-esteem in the world. These are just two simple examples of how our ego feeds us messages about who we are. But this inner voice is only an echo of our past experiences and beliefs that may not match our present reality. New experiences can change old patterns and new beliefs can replace outdated ones. In this light, our ego ought to be considered an opinionated tenant in the mind. It's not always right or accurate. At its worst, our ego can devalue others by propping ourselves up to their detriment, or our ego can diminish ourselves by making it seem that everyone else is better than we are. They learn faster, they punch harder, they get promoted quicker. If we let our ego color our moment with such self-assessment, then we have created an obstacle to our martial training and to our own personal growth. Accepting such a message doesn't mean that we aren't going to win tournaments, beat the bully, or achieve the next belt rank, but we may experience a level of suffering that these accomplishments cannot free us from. It's always helpful to take some time to assess yourself honestly. Some simple questions can reduce the ego's influence over us and set us on a firmer course. Do your actions bring you a deep sense of peace and fulfillment? Are all the parties you're involved with mutually benefiting from your efforts? You're practicing masterful martial arts when you use your discipline to master your ego. We need our connections to others. Humankind is a brotherhood and sisterhood. Competition is an excellent way to exchange and sharpen our martial skills. But when it's done with the idea of conquest rather than cooperation, we only feed our egos and create spiritual divides within ourselves and amongst our fellows. Our ego may convince us that we're all powerful or on the flip side, that we're far too weak, but this conviction is too often an illusion. Take root in the knowledge that you are here for unique and meaningful reasons that do not depend upon the need to evaluate yourself as better or less than others. When you do this, your ego will cease to interfere in the unfolding of your karma and you will discover your real powers. Join me in my next talk where I will discuss how to punch. Thank you for listening.